Hey guys, SGT here. Uh, we're doing an emergency uh, broadcast update with Jeff Nielsen from BullionBullsCanada.com. Silver plummeting through all realistic and practical support as the bankers have taken complete control with their paper manipulation games. And for any of us that have been part of this silver market for any period of time, we understand the 100 to 1 paper manipulation. We understand what, what's going on at COMEX. The COMEX is basically down to 33 million ounces of physical silver. We understand the fundamentals for silver. And what's going on in the markets right now is nothing short of ridiculous. And uh, I think it's just time to do a sanity check with a guy we respect. Jeff, thanks for joining us. Hi, Sean. Always a pleasure to be here. Always a pleasure to have you and to have your perspective. Uh, I'm feeling a little emotional right now. I think all of us are. We need to keep perspective on reality here. This isn't the end of the world. But what say you about what appears to be the bankers in control of this market? Well, you know, whenever we see an episode like this, I think it's really important to be explicit about what's going on. And so my own most recent commentary is titled, uh, a new operation, a silver market, because that's exactly what we've witnessed, it is a, a deliberate operation. It was a contrived event in every sense. And, you know, so on the one hand, there's you know, justifiable outrage on the part of uh, anyone and everyone who is familiar with this market, because this is uh, a totally outrageous event. But, you know, for me, it's even more important to simply uh, try to remove the fear factor for people who may not be quite as familiar with this market, because the people I really feel for are the people who maybe have just gotten into silver in the last few months who still don't you know, really understand what's going on and who just had the heck scared out of them by this uh, you know, massive plunge in the price of silver over a very short period of time. Yeah, no, you're right, and I, and I feel a responsibility to people to watch my channel, and I know you feel a responsibility to the people that vil visit bullionbullscanada.com, and I want them to know that you and I and others that are experts in this arena or people that really follow uh, the precious metals markets have not been blowing sunshine up their asses. Uh, the fundamentals of physical silver versus paper silver are extraordinary. So the, the fact that people should be owning physical silver um, should not be lost. Uh, Warren Buffett always used to like to say that pullbacks made him smile because he knew the fundamentals of the companies he owned and they were buying opportunities to buy more shares. And that really needs, we can't lose perspective here. The, the bankers are giving us an extraordinary opportunity to buy more physical. Now, in my case, I don't have very much dry powder and I just watched a lot of paper get imploded. But for those of us who do have some dry powder, this is just an excellent opportunity to, uh, to take more physical off the market, right? Well, yeah, I think you really hit the nail on the head there, Sean. Uh, basically, uh, you know, my own plan is, is as soon as we wrap up here is I'm going to head out the door and, and try to grab some more silver myself because I, I also see this as a remarkable buying opportunity. In fact, you know, only, uh, I guess, about 10 days or so sooner, I was wondering if I should be buying some more silver up uh, close to, you know, $50 because it might leave that vicinity once and for all and never return again. Yeah. And, and the other thing you alluded to, of course, that's so critical here are the fundamentals. And I think once we spell that out for people, it's going to be so much easier for them to regain their peace of mind here. The bottom line with any and every commodity is it's all about inventories. If inventories are increasing, you should see the price falling You know, as a simple supply and demand reaction. If inventories are falling, you should see the price rising. And as you, you know, just mentioned, silver inventories are essentially gone. So, you know, that is the fundamental to always focus upon unless and until there is a significant buildup of inventories, there is never a fundamental justification for the price of silver to fall. And what that means is, yes, I mean, it can always get pushed down in another one of these operations, but it's going to bounce right back up again. And so that's why it's just such a remarkable buying opportunity because we know what's going to happen a few months from now. Yeah. I want to share a story just real briefly to help people keep perspective. I saw this exact same thing happen when the uh, internet company, uh, the internet search, search company Badoo went public um, back around 2005, 2006, somewhere in that neighborhood. And that stock went public at around 80 and it went to like 160. And then just as fast as it got to 160, Jeff, it pulled back, it plummeted back to 80. And you can imagine that all those people that had gotten in, how fearful they were and how they all sold. And when it hit 80 again at that IPO price, it sprang to two, three, 400 from there. So I want people to realize that I think what's happening here is these bankers, JP Morgan, HSBC, I don't know how low they're going to take it. I think there's 
Katie bar the door support at 2550. Um, I think there's great support at 30. But regardless of how low they take it, Jeff, once they have the long position they want and their shorts are closed out, this thing's going to go straight to 100. And anybody that misses that move is going to have that pit in their stomach for a second time. That, that feeling we all have with that gut-wrenching vomit feeling we all have right now, you're going to get that if you if you lose your position. If you get shaken out by these people, you're going to have it even worse as you watch this thing spring back to the other direction. Well, you know what, Sean, I'm going to differ with you a little bit here in that I don't believe that this is so much the matter of the bankers looking for a profit-making opportunity for themselves. Instead, it's a much more important strategic and psychological event that's taking place here. Basically, uh, in the bankers' you know world of paper, this $50 an ounce level is considered to be you know, the top, the all-time top of the silver market, you know, basically it's the same price that occurred in the spike back in 1980 when silver reached its previous high. Mm -hmm. Of course, in the real world, you know, the paper you held back in 1980 was worth, you know, much, much more than the paper we are holding today. So that if you convert those dollars to real dollars, I mean, it's more like, you know, $200 an ounce for silver. That would be the equivalent of the 1980 price. But because you know we're living in this make-believe world of the bankers, this $50 an ounce level is essentially the last resistance level remaining in the silver market. It's their final line in the sand to defend. You're right. Click here for part two.